All right, so let's begin with what I've given you in class. I know this is repeating itself, but we'll try to go quickly. First of all, of course, you need to make sure and understand which one of these problems you have. Can you graph the original function? For most of you, the answer is yes. The next question is, can you tell me, given the original function, what the general equation is going to be? This, of course, will depend greatly on what the shape is. The shapes, of course, that we use as of right now are, if I can draw it, here we are. We have linear, we have parabolic, we have hyperbolic, and we have square root. And, of course, you know the general equations of these. You can see them. I'm not going to redraw them. Let's just put this. This is so sloppy. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, da, 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 da. Here we are. Now, the next question, of course, is how then do I manipulate the data? Or for most of you, not how do I manipulate the data, but why the heck does it, in fact, work? We'll discuss that now in just a second. Then, of course, we will regraph. And then beyond that point, 5 and 6 are, of course, a how to find the specific equation for a linear function. And that, of course, is an entirely separate video. Uh, so if you need to see that, make sure you're watching the right video. All right, so let's say that we start with the information provided. Up here in the right corner, we have our x values and we have our y values. And this is the very crude graph that I've created down here at the bottom. So I can see on my x that my max value is about 50. Come over here. So this are of course going to be 10 since it's so crude. I'm not going to continue, but you mostly should know how to do the first graph. Then up the y, of course, this will be about worth 10. So we'll make that, uh, sorry, not 10, 5. And so we'll make each one of those worth about 1. All right. So let's place our data here. Unfortunately, due to they having the points where they are, at 0 0.5, 0 0.33, 0 0.25, and 0.2, we have to cram them all down here, and we see that the general equation is a hyperbola. It is the worst looking hyperbola I've ever written. Of course, the general equation of that is y equals k over x plus b. And so I look over here and I see that the 1 over x is what's causing this to not be linear. Of course, the 1 over x is what causes this to look the way it does. And see this shape right here? That's because of the 1 over x. If it were x, it would be a straight line, but that's what forces it to do that. Look at my y values here, 5, 5, 0 0.5, 0 0.23, 0 0.25. I see that they're inversely proportional to all my x's. So if I could somehow take my x's and pull them to the left, like that spot right here, if I could pull that to the left, very small here, more so there, even more so over here, and further and further to the left, I could make this into a straight line by pulling them over. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this 1 over x data. You can see I changed this to 1 over x now instead of x. And I put new information in. Instead of x, I've pulled it to the left by coming up with new data, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.033. You can see up here in the top right corner. Now, if I put that data in instead, of course, starting at 0 0.02 and going up by 0 0.02 to 0 0.1, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, and then, of course, 0 0.10, and I come back over here, and I see that if I plot the information, okay, we'll go to 5, of course, because the y is staying entirely the same. So let's plot the information. 5, of course, will go with 0.1. Then we have 0.5 going with, uh, let's see, 0 0.05 there. So I'll match those up, put all my data in, and I see that that, of course, makes a beautiful line. That line, of course, will then have a k value. That k value will match up with the k value from the original function. It will also have a b value that also matches up from the original function. And if you want to figure out how to find those two, then go to the video on finding the specific equation of a line. Hooray!